and you've got tremendous strength and depth in the supreme novice hurdle, will you? Four really high-profile horses in there at the moment. Una, two, Muzzle Top, Pig Sue, Champagne Fever. Could, could all four conceivably run, all different owners? Yes, they could. Uh, Champagne Fever is an interesting one. Um, he could actually go out for the Albert Bartlett. He has enough staying in his pedigree, and but the same owner has Bally Casey, Pont Alexander, and then Champagne, and we... we Sort of been saying all along he's he going for the supreme novice, but uh, you know he disappointed us today. He got sick in Nace, and um, I, I'm thinking, could I or should I let him take on Bally Casey in the Albert Bartlett? I, I'm not going to let him take on Pont Alexander, I think. And um, the, the supreme novice looks a real hot race. But then you saw what he did in the the bumper last year. Um, against what people thought was hot opposition there too uh, and if he comes back to his best maybe you know he's, he's a good jumper um, but the Supreme Novice is going to be probably one of the most difficult races at the festival to win I think One or two is interesting really he's not dissimilar to Bally Casey in that he probably hasn't achieved a great deal in terms of the bare form but he looks a really exciting horse do you think he can make this step up and take it in his stride? I think so he's um, um, yeah he shows a fair bit at home yeah and you missed the grade one at Leopardstown with him. Yeah, it just wasn't right. Um, I'd intended to run him and I brought, I just worked himself in Champagne Fever and Champagne Fever uh, did a nice bit of work. And Emmett, who normally rides on a two, wasn't happy with him. I wasn't happy looking at him. He wasn't happy riding him. And we decided we'd give it a miss rather than uh, go there and give him a hard race maybe when he wasn't fully right. Uh, so hopefully he, we'll get him to Cheltenham in good order. And Peak Sue won well at Dundalk. He's a horse that seems to want better ground. He does. He, and he ran a cracker in the bumper in Cheltenham last year, so he, he likes the place as well, so we let him take his chance there. And obviously you know perfectly well what it takes to win that race, I mean, having done so on, on several occasions. Do you think this year... Well, two at least I can think of anyway, yeah. Do you think this year's bunch are well, are well up to, to the standard required? I've, yeah, I've got... Uh, my minor are nice yeah you need a lot of luck and running that's like everyone is hyped the jockeys are hyped the horses are hyped it's the first race of the festival they go a million people can't wait to get the festival going and it's it's a tough tough race you know guys make mistakes in it because they're they're just wound up um, you know everyone's waiting for the festival all year and there they are down at the start and they just can't wait for the starter to pull the lever and, you know, if you miss the first or second hurl, you're gone, you're out with a wash and you can't get back into the race. And um, it's important to try and get the first two jumps right and get around the bend and settle into the race. But they, they go a million. It's, it's, a, it's a very tough race. And, you know, with the likes of Jetski and my tenter Euros in it this year, uh, it's going to take a lot of winning, I think. It's going to be one of the toughest renewals of it uh, for 